So you have this family of the Levites. And this genealogy starts with Levi. Well, he slaughtered people. That's a bad example. Jacob was not happy with what he did. And then you have Phineas, who is another passionate warrior who stands up and says, we are not going to take this lying down. We are going to face the enemies of God head on. And he was commended there for his zeal. So in this genealogy, as told by Moses, the bookends are Levi and Phineas, as if to say to Moses and Aaron and to all the people, I did not pick a family of quitters. This is not a tribe that backs down from a challenge. They do not sit idly by as God's enemies get the upper hand. Now, lest you think the application here is that you should go out and kill people, which it is not. It is not. Courage looks different in different times. God wasn't asking Moses and Aaron to go kill Pharaoh just to confront him. If they would be obedient to God, God would do the rest. It still took courage. Calvin says, what no earthly kings with all their power and wisdom, their terror and their threats could affect, God performed by means of two unwarlike men, neither experienced nor renowned. So if you say, I am not very warlike, okay. Really, neither were Moses or Aaron, but they still needed courage. They still needed to embrace who they were as Levites. I'm sure you have that talk with your kids sometimes. Now, you remember who we are. Remember what it means to be whatever your family is. There's integrity and honesty and respect and courage and bravery. Well, remember who you are as Christians. Remember your spiritual family, how we do things, how we love, how we risk, how we're not quitters, how we're not cowards, how we don't have to have renown or fame to go and do what the Lord wants us to do.